Let's dive in and take a look at how the shadows slider can influence our photographs in Lightroom. Now, we talked earlier about the blacks slider and what blacks does for your photographs. And if you remember from that video, we said that the blacks slider is there to set how dark you want the darkest thing in the photograph to be. Now, the problem is sometimes when you set how dark you want the darkest thing to be, everything else gets a little bit too dark as well. You still want the darkest thing to be as dark as it is, but everything else you maybe want a little bit brighter. And that's where the shadow slider comes in. So to me in my workflow, the shadow slider happens, I drag it right after I do the black slider. Let's dive in and take a look at what I mean. Here we have an image that has a nice black point. If we look at the left hand side of the histogram, we can see that the very little end of that histogram is just touching the left hand side, meaning that something or a couple things in the photograph are pure black. They have black, they're a nice deep dark shadow. And I really, really like that. But I think all of the dark stuff, the whole shadows of the photograph are just too dark. So my goal here is to lighten up the shadows, but leave the darkest thing pure black. And that's where the shadow slider is awesome. So what I can do here is take the shadow slider up a little bit. And if we look at the photograph, we can see and we look at the histogram, that little far left hand tip of the histogram is staying right where it is. It's maintaining a nice deep dark black, but the rest of the shadows in the photograph are getting much brighter. And if we take a look at the before and after, we can really see this. So this is before on the left, before I did any sort of shadow adjustment. And you can see, yes, there's a nice deep black, but everything's too dark. The whole shadow region is just too muddy, too dark. On the right, we increase the shadows and we throw a little bit more information into those areas, which is super awesome. So let's look at another example here. Here's an example of me sitting on my bike. And again, if we look at the histogram, there is a nice deep black. So we did a good job with the blacks slider, ensuring that the darkest thing was as dark as we wanted it. But as a whole, I think the shadows, the darker things are too dark. So again, I wanna brighten the shadows, but I wanna leave the darkest thing where it's at. And that's where we can use that shadow slider. So we'll increase this guy and we'll see, it'll just throw some information into the photograph and give us that kind of brightness, that loftiness back to those shadows that we may or may not be after. So again, if we look at the before after view, we can see on the left, yes, we have a nice deep dark shadow, but everything's too dark. On the right, we still have that nice deep dark point, but we have correctly exposed photograph. All right, now, again, shadows is not going to influence the mid-tones of the photograph. It's not gonna influence the highlights. It's for when you think the shadow regions in the photograph are too dark. Overall, shadows and highlights, which we'll look at in a later video, are two of the most powerful things I think there are in Lightroom. They're great to follow up after the whites and the blacks slider to bring information back into those areas that you may have lost. So shadows, super awesome. It's going to be able to throw in or remove information in the shadow regions of your photograph.